Yep, today is opening day for Major League Baseball. The MLB is planning to play a full 162 game season after canceling nearly two thirds of their games last year because of the pandemic. And that's why it's extra exciting today. The expectation is pretty high for this team too here in San Diego. Quite a good lineup they have. News 8's Kyle Kraska joining us live from Petco Park. Kyle, what a big day it is. It is, Netta. Great to see you guys. And uh, boy, it's warm out here. I'll tell you what, what is it, mid 80s here for opening day? A far cry from Detroit, where they're playing baseball today in the snow. So we are very fortunate to have a perfect day for opening day. These entrances here just opened about 20 minutes ago. Uh, members of the pod squad here, Tegan and Presley, they're welcoming people back. They said that is the theme of today. Welcome back. Welcome back to Petco Park because, as you know, this year they can allow about 20% of capacity in the door, so they're expecting about 10,000 people inside today. It was so different uh, last year. Remember when opening day was in August and there were no fans allowed inside, so it's awfully nice to see a lot of people walking around the streets here, uh, walking along Petco Park. Some of them fortunate enough to have a ticket to come into the game today. Even those who don't uh, walking around with their Padre gear very proudly have seen Hosmer jerseys and Machado jerseys and of course many Fernando Tatis Jr. jerseys as well. Today's game it is the Padres taking on the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch is 110. It'll be you Darvish on the mound for the Padres. Madison Bumgarner for the Diamondbacks. Interestingly enough he's been the starting pitcher for the Padres opposing team each of the last two years. Last year with Arizona the year before that with San Francisco and the Padres have beaten him two years in a row so let's make it three in a row today and uh, Netta you mentioned the expectations and obviously they're sky high after what the Padres were able to accomplish a year ago and also of course with all the great offseason moves by general manager AJ Preller that may be my biggest concern as we head into opening day in a full 162 game schedule is the pressure of expectation sure. is that so many expect this to be a playoff team and beyond many think this Padres team may be the second or third best team in all of baseball. So how do they handle that pressure of expectation and say they get off to a slow start or lose a few games in a row. How will they handle that. Talked to Fernando Tatis Jr. yesterday and he said essentially you know what we just got to block out the noise. There you go. Be what we are. Be the team that we can be and everything will work out. We'll see. I was going to say Kyle can they just look at their paychecks for that <laughs> extra boost of motivation. <laughs> yeah. How many zeros are on those. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you just just look at the left side of the infield, right? And you got the three hundred million dollar <laughs> man in yeah. Manny Machado and the three hundred forty million dollar man in Fernando Tatis Jr. Probably the best infield, yeah. especially the left side in all of baseball. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not writing the check for those. <laughs> right. But uh, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, that is a, a cornerstone of this of this franchise that is going to be here a while yeah. and hopefully healthy and productive for a very very long time. and Kyle knows he's talked to a lot of coaches and they always say one game at a time so let's start with winning uh, opening day here and then move <laughs> on to the next one and the yeah. next one and string together a, a couple good winning streaks here. Yeah and uh, you know talking to Jace Tingler the Padres manager yesterday he brought up a good point he said you know what we want to be a team that gets better as the season goes on. So it's not about day one and opening day or day two or whatever. It's improving mm -hmm. and not being the same team in October that you are in April. You right. know, be a better team and, and find ways to improve. And uh, they've got the right attitude. I'll tell you what, if they just follow Fernando Tatis Jr., his lead, the way mm -hmm. he approaches the game every yeah. single day, this team is going to be all right. I just hope, you know, I don't want to say I want Tatis to, to tone it down, but <laughs> man, oh man, the way he plays. Plays the game, you know. You just you cringe every time he slides into a base head first and all that. But that's him. That's yeah. Tatis, and he said, Fernando yesterday said, I'm not going to change who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's electrifying. Won't tone to it watch. down. That's no, no. for sure. <laughs> hey, Kyle, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Um, I'll see you guys at noon. Huh? We'll do it again. Yeah. Sounds good.